in this video we are going to see how to create a simple excel file in asp.net web form application uh, let's do it in visual studio 2017 open visual studio create a new project select web asp.net web, applica web application name the project as getting started select web forms and ok Once the project is created, we need to add XLSIO and its dependent assemblies to the project. So right click the project, select manage NUKIT packages, browse for syncfusion.xlsio, from the package source nuket.org, find syncfusion.xlsio.aspnet read the terms and conditions go through the information about licensing from this page and install the nugget on installing uh, you will be prompting to add uh, syncfusion.compression.base syncfusion.licensing syncfusion.xlsio assemblies to the project On successful NUGGET installation, we will find syncfusion.compression.base, syncfusion.licensing and syncfusion.xlsio.assemblies refer to the project. Now create a new page. Select web form. Name it as main page. Here uh, we can add a button in the name create document within the div block. Now go to design view. Double click the added button to add a code for excel creation in the click event before that we need to add xlsio namespace to the project as using syncfusion.xlsio now let's add a code here for excel creation let's initialize excel engine which gives access to the excel application Initialize application and set the workbook version as 2016 through default version property of application. Uh, we can give Excel version as uh, anything from 97-2003-2016 but we are creating in version 2016. Let's create a workbook with one worksheet and access the first worksheet from the created workbook and assign it to worksheet object here uh, we are giving parameter value as 1 for create which means uh, workbook is created with one worksheet by leaving it as empty create the workbook with three worksheet by default now we are creating with one worksheet ends providing the value as 1 now we are going to set a text to cell A1 as hello world now we are going to save the workbook in the name output.xlsx and download it in browser let's run the application
click create document this will download the created excel file now the text is set in cell A1 as allow world as expected we can find an additional tab called evaluation warning with warning message created with a trial version of Syncfusion Essential XLSIO you can avoid this warning uh, by using licensed version of XLSIO assemblies uh, in order to get valid license please contact our sales team and you can find more information about licensing from this page we are now going to add a code here to create an excel file which is similar to that of our reference file which is being displayed now and it is an invoice format this file includes uh, text and cell formatting pictures number formatting applied on cells formulas applied on cells and so on let's add a picture in cell a1 as in this invoice template adding picture in uh, first row and first column that is cell a1 now as you see in this input template grid lines are invisible we are going to make the grid lines invisible now by setting is grid lines visible property of worksheet to false makes the grid lines in the worksheet invisible now we are going to enter values to this address section and make the text as bold enter text to cells a3 to a5 and apply bold to those cells next we are going to enter values to this invoice detail section before that uh, we can see what are all the formatting applied on this cells d1 and d1 is merged formatting is applied on cells font settings is applied along with alignment let's add a code here to format invoice detail section cells d1 and d1 is merged text is set on cell d1 font setting is applied for cell d1 here we have an error we can resolve it by adding namespace called using system dot drawing which is getting added in uh, namespace section alignment is set for cell d1 values entered to cells d5 e6 d7 e7 and e8 through text property number is set on cells uh, d8 and d6 value is set for cell e6 cell color is applied font color is applied font is made bold alignment is set on this invoice detail section now we have uh, done with this address section invoice detail section now we are going to enter values to cells a7 to a13 and format the cells by applying formatting to cell a7 and add email hyperlink to cell a13 let's have a code for adding values and formatting to cells in build to section text is set on cell a7 font setting is applied cell color is applied alignment is applied text is set on cells a8 to a12 email hyperlink is added to cell a13 next we are going to enter values to this product details section and apply formatting to it rows 15 to 22 of column a and b is merged so we are going to apply merge for this cells 
now we are going to enter this values and uh, apply number format to unit price and amount column as accounting now values entered to this product detail section a15 to a20 values are entered using text property from c16 to d20 number is added text is added to cell d23 where uh, we can find now number format is applied to amount and uh, unit price section as accounting with this format and uh, to sell e23 which hold uh, total of uh, amount we have applied accounting format to that cell now we add formula uh, to this amount column from e16 to e20 which is the multiple of uh, quantity and unit price so we are going to use uh, incremental formula feature uh, to do so setting formula to cells e16 to e20 as a incremental formula of c16 into d16 setting an incremental formula is similar to that of adding formula to one particular cell of a column and dragging it to the following cells in ms excel we have set a formula in e23 as a sum of e16 to e22 here now we are going to add border and uh, some formatting to this product detail section we have added a code here thin border line style is applied to this uh, product detail section gray color is applied to this border line this excel border index denotes the edges of the cells font setting is applied to those cells cell color is applied alignment is set as you see in the reference file row height and column width is set with some custom values uh, to have a pleasant look we are going to set those custom values now we have added a code uh, to set custom row height and column width to used rows and columns now we have done with the code section let's run the application now click create document this will download the final created excel file now we have created an excel file which is similar to that of our reference file here we can see picture is added cell and text formatting is applied hyperlink is added number formatting is applied formula is set to cells and uh, values are evaluated total is evaluated now uh, we are done with the excel file creation using asp.net web form application thank you for watching